Hey everyone, I'm the 20-something chemist, and I'm making another video, because I actually feel like making a video today. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the new D&D sourcebook, Xanathar's Guide to Everything. I know all the D&D people have probably already talked about this in whatever platform they have, but I haven't yet, so I'm doing it, and besides, most of my viewers probably don't follow D&D stuff anyway. So, Xanathar's Guide to Everything. I freaking love this book. It is great. Before I get into the actual meatiness of the book, allow me to read the disclaimer at the beginning. Because all 5th edition D&D books have disclaimers now. <clears throat> disclaimer. No goldfish were harmed in the making of this book, especially not Silgar. Silgar definitely did not die because we forgot to change his water. If you see Xanathar, make sure it knows that. Be perfectly clear Silgar was not harmed, and we had nothing to do with it. Better yet, don't bring it up, and don't mention us. I, I'm assuming that this fish on the cover here, that fish is Silgar, because this beholder behind the fish is Xanathar. Xanathar is a beholder, so that's just a bit of lore that doesn't really influence the book at all, but it's interesting. So, a large portion of this book is new subclasses for all the classes, uh... One, one thing I love is that they gave monks the way of the drunken master, so that's hilarious. They gave fighters uh, samurai, and a lot of the subclasses in here were earlier published in Unearthed Arcana, which is sort of how the Wizards of the Coast D&D team can put out new content that's not necessarily ready for a full publish. They still need to work some kinks out of it, but they allow other people to use it, so that way they can find the kinks. and. Then, when things like this come out, they can fully release them in their true form. But this book is super helpful. I love the rules they have for creating encounters and uh, handing out magic items because the ones in the DM's guide are fine, but they're a little uh, hard to use sometimes. Whereas the ones in here make it super easy to use. I was able to roll up a random encounter table in like five minutes using the rules in this book. It is so nice. I actually already used it for my most recent adventure that I wrote, A Midsummer Night's Terror, in stores never, order now. Uh, but it's such a good book, and I love it so much. There's also a bunch of common magic items in the book that don't really increase a character's power, but they're just sort of fun to have. My favorite is the Cloak of Billowing, where you can take a bonus action, and the cloak billows dramatically, or there was another one that... Let me see if I can find it. Uh, ah. It's the Dread Helm. All it does is make your eyes glow red. Like, they, they, they don't do much, but they're just fun. I love it. So... That's pretty much what I have to say about Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Uh, I really like this book. It's so good. If you play d and especially if you're a DM, I recommend getting this book because it's awesome. I love it. But that is going to be all I say about that right now. So, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Click over here for more videos. Click over here to check out my channel. And join me next time when I will be probably talking about something else extremely nerdy. So, I will see you then.